classical genre and forms. The four main genres in the classical era were the sonata, the symphony, concerto and quartet. These genres are particular categories of music which can be divided into several sections or movements. These are substantial sections that are usually separated by short breaks in performance. They tend to be contrasted in mood, but related in key. And individual movements are often in a particular form. A form of a movement can be described as the shape or structure of the composition. This is known as the form. A sonata is an instrumental composition, usually in several movements for one or two players. The symphony is an orchestral composition, usually in four movements, typically lasting between 20 and 45 minutes, exploiting the expanded range of tone color and dynamics of the orchestra. It is typically in four movements in the order fast, slow, minuet and trio fast. The minuet was originally a dance in triple time and was replaced by the faster scherzo in the 19th century. The slow movement might be in a ternary form or a theme and variation form. The last movement or finale might be in rondo form, sonata form, or a combination of the two. The concerto is an extended composition for instrumental soloist and orchestra, usually in three movements in the order fast, slow, fast. The quartet is a composition for four instruments. A common quartet in the classical era was the string quartet, which was a composition for two violins, a viola and a cello, usually consisting of four movements in the order of fast, slow, minuet and trio, fast. Sonata form refers to the form or structure of a single movement. The first movement of a classical symphony, sonata or string quartet is usually in sonata form. It is flexible and subject to many variations. It is not a rigid mold. There are three main sections in sonata form. They are the exposition, the development and the recapitulation. These three sections are often followed by a coda, which is a concluding section. In the exposition, there is the presentation of themes. There are usually two themes in the exposition. The first theme is presented in the tonic key, and the second theme is presented in a contrasting key, usually the dominant or relative major minor key. It is also usually contrasting in character to the first theme. There is a bridge or transition passage which links the first theme to the second theme. It contains a modulation from the tonic to a related key. The closing section of the exposition is known as the codetta. At the end of a classical exposition, there is usually a repeat sign indicating that the entire exposition is played again. The development section follows the exposition. Here there is new treatment and development of themes. Themes are often broken into fragments or motives which can take on different and unexpected emotional meanings. Themes can be combined with new ideas or changed in texture. Modulations are used 
modulating to different keys. In the recapitulation, which follows the development section, the first and second theme are in the tonic key. There is still the bridge passage, which links the first theme to the second theme, but the second theme remains in the tonic key. And then there is the coda, which closes off the recapitulation and ends the piece in the tonic key. We will now listen to the exposition of Sonata in C major by Mozart. This is the first theme in the tonic key C major. This is the exposition leading into the second theme which is in the dominant key G major. Notice the use of arpeggios. Notice the homo a homophonic texture here. And then we go to the codetta, which is the concluding section. And notice the double bar line, it's then repeated. So first theme in the tonic key. Notice arpeggio and scale passages with a homophonic texture. Transition or exposition, linking passage, which then helps the modulation to the dominant key for the second theme. Arpeggios. Homophonic texture. data concluding section. Moving on to the development section, going through G minor, modulating to different keys, using themes from um, the exposition, theme one and theme two, scale passages, Going back to the recapitulation, first theme in C major. Just ascending, descending scale passages. First in the right hand and then in the left hand. Then we move to the bridge or linking passage. This time it remains in C major, the second theme. Arpeggio figures moving from one hand to the other. A dominance to the coda ending in the tonic key. So that was a piece in sonata form. That was the first movement from Mozart's sonata in C major. And to recap, this sonata form section or movement by Mozart had an exposition which had two themes with a, a linking passage connecting the themes. It had a codetta. It then had a development section where you developed ideas from the exposition, followed by the recapitulation, where we had the second theme in the tonic key. There was also the first theme, also in the tonic key, with a connecting the linking passage, 
And then there was a coda section which concluded the piece. Most first movements of the classical genre were in sonata form. 